hello guys welcome to prof one yt channel so on this video we're going to learn how to find the current in two ohm resistor using nothing's theorem please make sure you watch this video to the end so with this we are going to use superposition which will aid us solve this so with the superposition what it says is that we deactivate one source and work with one source and also we deactivate the other source and work with other source so with this we are going to find um that's this resistor we need to find the current in that resistor using northern's theorem so now we are going to work with the seven volt source so with the seven volt source this is seven volt source and this is where the northern's current comes in so the northern's current is here and the current moving here will be i1 which is i1 so now Let's analyze this. So with this, how do we find it? First, we need to find the total resistance. And this, if you've not watched this video about short circuit, please, you better watch it. Check the link of this video. Check the subscription and watch it. So it means that when you do well, these two ohm resistor will be short circuited. So we're finding the total resistance. We know that this, the 5 plus the 2 will be in series since the current will pass through them and also they will be in parallel with the two ohm resistor and also they'll be in series with that so if you've not watched the video on how to find um find resistors in series and parallel please check my video and watch so with this when you do that correctly it means that this resistor has been short circuited so when you do that you're going to get 4.1 ohms which will be the total resistance so we need to find the total resistance which, which will aid us to find the total current passing through it then we'll analyze so the next thing to do is for you to find i1 you know that i1 for you to find it to be the total current coming here and the total resistance of this is what 4.1 and uh, the volt here is 7 or the source is with what 7 volt that will be the i1 will be what 7 over 4.1 which will give you 1.70731 amps yes so with that you know this is going to help you with the current division so now with us when you apply current division from here which is current division rule we are going to get since this is opposite this so you're going to get 3 over 3 plus 7 times the main current coming through and which was 1.70 731 amps which is now is 70 over 41 so when you do that correctly it means that let's assume this is one let's do this with one so it means that the nothing's current which is one from this source from this side is going to give you 0 0.525 amps please we use current division what rule or the current divider rule to find the current in what the northern's current from here yes now we are done with the seven volt source what to do now is you're going to work with the 10 volt source so with the 10 volt source we try finding something here but when you check this one with the 10 volt source the current is moving from here right and the northern's current will be here so let's label this Nothing's carrying two. So when you check this diagram very well, you know that the total current from here, which is let's label this I two, coming here will be the same current which will pass through this. If you write like that, so with that you will therefore know that I prime, which is I prime, will be equal to what I n, and when you do that, it means that you are going to get 10 over 2, which will give you 5 ampere. Are you getting it? That is 10 over the 2 over the 2 ohms here, which will give you the 5 ampere. So the total current moving from the 10 volt source will be the total current, will be the same current moving through this I. Let me do it I2. Yeah, moving through this I2. So when you do that, so you to find the current in I2, 
you're going to get that the current in I2 will be the same current in what? The nothing's current 2, right? So you're going to get 10 over 2, which will give you 5 amps. So now, with superposition, what it means that you find one, you find one after you check the direction of it and whether you sum up the currents or you subtract, depending on the direction. So now, when you are done, you know that the nothing's from superposition, we are going to use superposition here. Now, let me use this is 1 and this is what? 2. So to find the nothing's current, you are going to sum them up. But first, you check the direction of it. So when you check the direction, for the previous diagram, it will oppose this direction. That means that this one will be negative, right? So when you do that, it means that the first one will oppose this. So that one, we are taking that one as negative. So you are going to get negative 0 0.525 amps plus 5, which is the previous one because the direction will oppose this. Which, when you do it correctly, you're going to get 4.475 amps. 4.475 amps. So, for us to find the nothing's um, resistor, we know that we're going to apply that is resistance in series and parallel. So, this resistor will be in parallel with this, if you check. So this resistor will be in parallel with this, and it will be in series with this, and it will be in parallel with that. So when you do that correctly, you're going to get the nothing's resistor to be 1.6078 ohms. So for you to find the current in the two ohm resistor, it will be the nothing's resistor over the nothing's resistor plus the resistor that you are finding the current in times the nothing's current. So when you do that correctly, as seen, you are going to get 1.6708 all over 1.6708 plus 2 times the nothing's current, which will give you 2.0368 amps. As very simple as that. So you must make sure that you find, this is, we using superposition. To a that find the nothing's what current because without the nothing's current we cannot find the current in the two ohm resistor. So this is how it is done. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like for more videos.